Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So new research out of Colorado State University shows that to help prevent a condition known as sarcopenia or age-related muscle loss, muscle mass itself is not the most important thing. So that's enough waffling from me. Let's take a look at what this new research has got to say. This presentation is a review of an article I read in the Medical Express, an article by Hannah Halaska of Colorado State University. And there's a link in the description below. She writes, there are many components to aging, both mental and physical. When it comes to the infrastructure of the human body and the musculoskeletal system, age associated decline is inevitable. And the rate of that decline isn't steady. It increases as we get older. Let's now talk about the loss of muscle mass. For adults in their 40s, sarcopenia is hardly noticeable. About 3% muscle mass is lost each decade. However, for those aged 65 years and above, muscle decline becomes much more rapid, with an average loss of 1% per year. More importantly, sarcopenia is also marked by a decrease in strength, impaired gait, reduced physical activity and difficulty in completing simple everyday tasks such as walking, sitting down and even standing up unaided. Let's now take a look at what the future has to hold. The proportion of older adults aged 65 and above is projected to more than double by the year 2060. This is driving research into the process of musculoskeletal decline. Researchers at Colorado State University believe they have found an animal model that will help them better understand it and find out ways to limit its symptoms. The study, published in Frontiers in Physiology, Styrated Muscle in October, is an example of using comparative medicine to fully understand human diseases and conditions. Let's mention briefly animal models. Scientists often rely on animal models to mimic disease progression and study the prevention, diagnosis and treatment of medical conditions. However, until now, no animal model has been able to fully capture all aspects of human musculoskeletal aging. Karen Hamilton, a professor in Colorado State University's Department of Health and Exercise Science, and Associate Director at the Center for Healthy Aging said, existing preclinical models either rely on unloading the muscle, meaning mimicking bed rest in an animal, or they must wait until the animal gets really, really old. And even then, they don't really get the same muscle aging phenotype as people do. Let's now take a look at the guinea pigs. In their work, Hamilton's team found that the dunking Hartley guinea pig was a good candidate for muscle aging due to the animal's tendency to develop osteoarthritis at a young age. The two conditions, osteoarthritis and sarcopenia, seem to be linked in humans. With advance in age, skeletal muscle dysfunction increases the risk for osteoarthritis, and osteoarthritis increases the risk for further muscle decline. Let's now take a look at Hamilton's team. Hamilton teamed up with Dr. Kelly Santangelo, an associate professor in the Department of Microbiology, Immunology and Pathology at CSU. She's been studying primary osteoarthritis in Hartley guinea pigs for many years. Also, associate professor Raul Reiser, also in the Department of Health and Exercise Science, to understand how skeletal muscle changes as osteoarthritis progresses in guinea pigs. The team hypothesized that those muscle changes may mimic human musculoskeletal aging. Let's now take a look at some classic signs. Muscle composition also changes with age. Fast twitch fibers, which are larger and capable of exerting stronger forces, decrease in number, and slow twitch fibers, which are smaller and less metabolically efficient, tend to increase. Generally, 
When people lose muscle mass, it is the large, fast twitch fibers that are affected. Also with decreasing muscle mass tends to come an increase in fat mass. As humans age, it may be that maintaining muscle function is more important than preventing loss of mass. So does this mean weight training and functional exercise as opposed to just bulking up with muscle? As an aside, I know many bodybuilders who have plenty of muscle, but have a pondered gait and can't scratch the middle of their back or behind their neck. So during the study, Karen Hamilton made the following statement. What we've learned over the decades is that age-related loss of muscle mass and age-related loss of muscle function don't always go hand in hand. You can do things to improve muscle mass and you might not get an improvement in muscle function. You can do things to improve muscle function and you may not get an increase in muscle mass. Let's now look at some comparisons. The researchers compared muscle changes observed in Hartley guinea pigs with those in strain 13 guinea pigs. Strain 13 guinea pigs tend to develop osteoarthritis later in their lifespan and therefore might not exhibit the same classic signs of muscle aging. They found some striking similarities to human muscle aging, such as a decrease in muscle density, likely due to an increase in fat mass. While a decrease in muscle mass was not noted, researchers did find a shift towards smaller, slow twitch muscle fibers, as is expected in human muscle with advancing age. So Hamilton also said, if you look at the overall picture, we think that some of the key things that always happen with human muscle aging that shift towards a less powerful, slow twitch muscle phenotype are quite clearly modeled in the Hartley guinea pigs. And we believe that if we started looking at even older guinea pigs, we might see more of the things that people think of as classic sarcopenia. So let's now look at what the future holds. This study now provides a baseline that will allow the team to take multiple directions in future research. One direction will be to employ functional tests to study how muscle strength and gait or mobility change with age in Hartley guinea pigs and how these changes mimic the deterioration of muscle function in aging humans. A priority will be to identify if Hartley guinea pigs can be a valuable translation model for identifying interventions that show promise for preventing or slowing the decline in overall musculoskeletal function in aging in humans. We well, hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, you may know that I'm doing a series of three videos on sarcopenia. So important do I think it is with regard to aging. Uh, but with this new research, I think that's now going to be four videos long. Um, sarcopenia, you will see in the first video and in the coming two, I believe is extremely important and is extremely prevalent when it comes to aging faster. The good thing is there seems to be quite a lot we can do to help fend off this age related disease. Simple things as well, such as eating a protein high diet uh, and also regular exercise. Uh, that only needs to be maybe 15 or 20 minutes a day and nothing more than a brisk walk. Also consider taking things such as um, creatine monohydrate, a well-known supplement that will allow you to build lean muscle mass. Um, well, that's it for today. I hope to see you in the next video. As always, please take care. Bye for now.